This problem is asking us to calculate the area of the figure that is shaded in orange. The first thing that we should notice is that the outside perimeter of the shape is a square. And we know that all four sides of a square are congruent to each other. Because the height of the square is 24 inches, the width is 24 inches as well. To figure out how to solve this problem, we should imagine that the entire square was originally shaded orange, and then someone came and erased four sections the size of a circle. And what we have left over is the orange shaded part. So first, we are going to figure out what is the area of the entire square, and then we are going to calculate the area of the four circles combined and subtract that from the area of the square. And what we have left over is the area that is shaded in orange. So first we are going to begin by multiplying 24 times 24. And 24 times 24 gives us a product of 576. So if the entire square were shaded orange, it would have a coverage of 576 square inches. However, the entire square is not shaded orange. Therefore, we must find the area of the four shown circles and subtract that area from 576. The area of one circle is calculated by pi times the radius to the second power. But notice all of our circles are exactly the same size. Because all four of our circles are exactly the same area, we can stick a number 4 in front of our formula pi r to the second power, because we're simply going to take the area of one circle and multiply it by 4. Now that we have a formula to calculate the total area of all four circles, we are going to substitute 3.14 for pi. Now we have to figure out what is the radius of each circle. If we take the width of our square and move it directly above and run it as the diameter of both of the circles from left to right, we can clearly see that each circle must have a diameter of 12, because both diameters is equivalent to the width of this square. However, 12 is the diameter of each of our circles. We have to plug in the value for radius of each circle, and half of our diameter would be 6. Now that we know that the radius is the length of 6, we can simply substitute that in for r for the formula. We must perform any exponents before any multiplication. So next we are going to take 6 to the second power, which is 36. Now we must find the product of 4 times 3.14 times 36. And because all three numbers are being multiplied together, you can go in any order that you wish. First, I'm going to multiply 4 times 36 together, which is 144. And then we multiply 144 by 3.14. And that gives us a product of 452 and 16 hundredths. That is the area of all four of the circles combined. Now that we know the area of the square and the area of the four circles, we simply subtract these two areas together, and what you have left over will be the area of the section that is shaded in orange. When subtracting numbers, we must make sure that all of the place values are lined up in the same column. So 452 must be written right underneath 576 because they are both whole numbers. At the end of 576, I am going to write a decimal and then add two zeros after the decimal so we may have all of the place values lined up properly. After subtracting these two areas together, we come up with a difference of 123 and 84 hundredths square inches. So now we know the area of the section shaded in orange. 